Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing with you guys a cool feature that is available on iOS 15. Obviously iOS 15 has been out for a while, I've just never done a video on this feature and I think it's such a helpful feature. If you don't know about it, I'm sure you'll want to. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be showing with you guys the drag and drop feature on your iPhone on iOS 15. So the drag and drop feature just makes it really easy to drag files or text or anything like that to from one file or app to another. It's just a helpful feature that makes sharing things very quickly. So I'm gonna take an example of photos first. So how this works is basically in photos, if you wanna share a certain photo with someone or just drag it to a different app, what you do is you just hold down until you can basically move it around. Um, so you can select one or you can just go ahead and select more than one photo as you can see here. So I have four right now. And then you just basically go out of the app that you're in and go into the app that you wanna share these two. So I can go into messages, drag them into my message here and then it's all there and then I can click send and then I have sent four photos that you can just easily drag and drop. The same goes for any other attachment that you might wanna send in iMessage. So I can just hold down on this song and then I can just go out here and then send it to someone else or do whatever I want, add it in a mail, whatever you want. So the same goes for any other attachment that you might wanna send in iMessage. So I can just hold down on this song and then I can go to a different chat and then just send it there or I can go ahead and send that in an email or something like that um, just depending on what you want to share it to. You can also for instance go into Safari and then the images section you can just hold down and then select an image or you can select more than one in an image. The only thing with this is that quality might not always be the best if you just save it like that because you might not get the full resolution. Then you can also do the same thing with text. Say I have text that I want to copy from Safari so I can just select the text. Then I can go ahead and hold down and then just paste it into say an email or any other document that I want. And then it's as easy as that. I just have to drag it to whichever app I want. So that is basically the drag and drop feature there are a number of things you can use this for it's just easy and quick to just transfer photos between apps or files or text or whatever you want to use it for um, so i hope this feature helps you guys and if you didn't know this now you do um, but let me know in the comments down below if you have any other tips and tricks that you recommend definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and click on the video to see my previously uploaded video i'll see you guys next time bye Thank you.